today on Tara Presents Fab. It's our crazy closet extravaganza with the king of all pantry must-haves. You're welcome! So we are talking closets of all kinds today, and obviously I'm taking you through your kitchen's wardrobe, the Fab Life Pantry. Come take a look, come take a look. We have a pantry! So look at all these amazing things here. These are my pantry staples. Cereals, canned goods, chips which I'm loving right now. However, there are a couple things you'll want to make sure you always, always, always have on hand because they have so many amazing, amazing uses. First up, I think everybody knows I am obsessed with chipotle peppers. I have this chipotle marinade in my book that is to die for. It has honey and brown sugar and a little whiskey, but it burns off some of it. So it's actually a delicious marinade. You're going to love it. I recommend having a can of these in your pantry at all times. And I'm just talking about canned chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. Some people don't even use the peppers. The sauce is hot enough, but I use both. So next up, dried pasta. I have so many different types of pasta in my cabinetry, I, it's kind of embarrassing actually. So I'm going to grab these elbow noodles now, and guess what? I'm going to show you something that goes way beyond mac and cheese. So this next pantry must-have is the king of all pantry must-haves. You have to keep it really safe, you have to store it in kind of an air-dry container. It's, it's important because it's a very special ingredient and it's very seasonal too. But try to make sure you always have it on hand. Always have your Wolfgang! <laughs> In the closet. Will you come to my kitchen with me? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Come to the kitchen. Here we go. Okay. Oh, hi. Hi. Listen, I've never been so excited. I think I lied to a lot of people. I'm like, I'm such a big fan of yours. But you thank know, John you. and I, I are know. a huge yeah. fan. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Now you're cooking too. I didn't I'm know that. I'm not anything like you. Wolfgang cooks for all these crazy award shows. He only has restaurants and Spago. And, yeah. and you are also home and king of my favorite airport salad, your Shinwa chicken, chicken salad. Chicken salad. Yeah, <laughs> Have you guys ever right. had it at the airport? It's yeah. my yeah. favorite thing on the planet. So, Chef, tell me about some of your pantry must-haves. Well, I have a lot of things. I must have olive oil. Mm -hmm. It's good for my hair, for my skin. You and put it on your hair? <laughs> yeah, I need them, <laughs> but they don't grow, so it's okay. No, I, It's soft, though. I use olive oil on everything. Okay. I love balsamic vinegar, mm -hmm. and naturally, I have two young boys. I need to have pasta at home. Uh -huh. so, Growing boys. Yeah, they love pasta any kind, but I never ground it like you did. I know, so this is really interesting. It's actually something new that I didn't even believe in, honestly, yeah. until we tested it out. But it kind of forms its own panko breadcrumbs uh -huh. out of macaroni. We just threw a bunch of macaroni into a food processor or a blender, ground it up into a little bit of a powder, and it gets really fine. Uh -huh. You can season it. I would actually season it with Parmesan and maybe okay. some herbs, spices, herbs, and you fresh like herbs. chipotle chilies. Yes, chipotle everything. On everything. Everything. Well, do you have it in your bedroom too? I do. <laughs> no, it's, uh, no. Should we okay. keep it spicy? I think, I think we can use it. You're, you're hot enough. I think. <laughs> it carries to the be bedroom. Able to take you with too. <laughs> so, and then chipotle peppers are my favorite. I use yeah. them for a marinade. Do you uh -huh. use them ever? I love them too. I love them. I put a lot in my chilies yes. and my tortilla soup and stuff oh. like that. So. You guys, please visit Spago if you can. It's truly, John and I go there a couple times a week. Even if you just want to go visit John and I, come for that reason yeah. only. It's okay. so, You don't so have to come good. here. You'll come to the restaurant. <laughs> we'll visit you. restaurant. Stick around. Chef Puck is showing us some holiday dishes to inspire our Thanksgiving menus. All right. Yes. So we were taught not to judge a book by its cover, but we've got a woman who's jumping to conclusions about three dudes based on their classes. That hilarity is up next. All right. Look I wanted to make the chicken with chipotle. Can we bring the chipotle? Got you. Okay, but he, he open it? Okay. Yes, chef. All right. <laughs> yes, chef. Oh, good. Welcome back to our closet extravaganza. Earlier in the show, I went through our kitchen's closet, AKA the pantry, and showed you a couple of my personal pantry must-haves, and one of them was Chef Wolfgang Puck. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so Thanksgiving is right around the corner. What are you cooking up for us today, Chef? Well, you know what? I'm going to show you many different things because everybody cooks a turkey at home, but uh, if you want to cook a small turkey or a chicken in my oven, it comes out perfect. But I'm going to give you a few other things because after a while you're going to be tired of turkey. Born so of turkey. I'm going to show you how to cook a fish first, how easy it is. So 
You can get cherry tomatoes or fresh tomatoes in all your local supermarkets. All right, now let's go over here. So you have salmon. I'm gonna cook some salmon with some olives, a few olives, pepper, it already looks onion. Really good. He even if you like, anything. throw in a few cloves of garlic if you like it. Maybe a little thyme. Now this I put the beautiful. fish on top. Look at that. A little salt and pepper this on the fish. It's a five-minute meal. This if, is so and you know what? You don't have to spend a lot of time in your dishwashing area because you cook everything in one pot. That's so so easy. Now. I'm gonna put it in the oven. I have one oven here. All right. Oh my goodness. And you know you can cook in no time. So I put that in in five minutes. It's cooked. So you're gonna five have your lunch. Five minutes for the salmon. Oh, I wanted to make the chicken with chipotle. Can we bring the chipotle back here? Oh, you need some here? chipotle. Yep. We now. Gotta show, you want me to grab some? Okay. Yeah. Find it Should in I your pantry some? over there. Okay. okay. <laughs> Come back. Though. Don't stay there. There's no other chef in the closet. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Oh, got you. Okay. But you, you open it. Okay. Yes. Chef. All right. <laughs> yes, Chef. Oh, good. She's well trained. Gordon, look at that. It's Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> okay. I learned from everything okay. from Hell's Kitchen. Okay, good. Now look at that. So now I'm going to put a little chipotle underneath the skin here. Ooh, chipotle surprise. So it's going to spice it up. Now, if you like Italian flavor, you put rosemary underneath here. So it all depends what you oh, like. That's so cool. You can slice a little I garlic. I like that sneak attack for people that don't know what's coming. Yeah, You're so. Like, I got a little surprise for you. I always mix things up. So <laughs> look at that. So now we have garlic underneath here and chipotle, more chipotle. Okay. You don't have to worry about chopping things up or Nothing. I like you just so, stuff it. So now we're going to put it in a pan. I have sweet potatoes here. You can see that. All right, some regular potatoes. This is the most vocal I've ever seen our audience ever. Oh, no, no. They're like, this is so easy. I know, it's cooking should be easy. It's not common. Maybe some apples even, so to sweeten it up. It's so cool. A little salt and pepper. <laughs> and then I'm going to put my chicken breast on top here. <laughs> and cook it just like that. And one of my favorite things, olive oil. Oh my God. I come right over here. And here is where my fish is in here. Oh my gosh! Uh, look at that. You guys have to see this. And look, here we have our fish. Look how beautiful it is. That is so enough. beautiful. Yeah. And smell I it. I love it. So let's taste this. All right. Oh, mm, it's look so how moist, flaky. Huh? Oh man, wanna? Mmm. Hot. Oh my gosh. Mm. Holy cow, it's so moist it's and It's so tasty, moist. Huh? Oh, and so flavorful. If you know what's good for you, go get this recipe off fablifeshow.com. You have to. It's magical. <laughs> Fab Life is going to be right